Hello and welcome to Sydney Civilization 6. Sorry if I said that wrong, but uh, it, for me it's a bit difficult to say that. <laughs> but anyways, welcome to Civilization 6, a game that I've been wanting to record for a while now, because I really, really enjoy this game, um, and I've myself seen a lot of videos in it, and I wanted to do my own. I really love this game, and I've been playing it a lot. I'm nowhere near an expert at all. I'm still learning, um, <laughs> but I really like the game, and I would love to do a series with it. So this is the first video. If you guys enjoy this video, please be sure to leave it a like and comment if you wish to see more, because it does really help me out a ton more than you know. And I would love to continue a series with this game, so if you do like it, please be sure to give it a like and comment that you wish to see more. But enough said, let us go on with creating the game. I have everything in here. Um, here is the seeds if you wish to make the world like this. Barbarians are on, um, disasters are on, and we are running with the Gathering Storm rule set. Um, I have a couple of the DLCs, not all of them, but I have a few. One specifically also, one of my favorite sieves are the goals. I absolutely love this civilization. Absolutely love it. Now when it comes to DLCs, I have the Gathering Storm, I have Rise and Fall, and I then have the DLC that adds the Gaul. So those are the three DLCs that I have. Everything else is set to Random Leader. Um, map, I think I would like to go with Continents and Islands, just for fun. Um, map size, standard, resources... Um, standard... Abundant, I think. I think... Hmm. No, you know what? We'll, we'll choose standard. Everything else, standard, city-states and disasters, everything. Game difficulty, I'm not that good. Um, I'm gonna choose Prince. We can always, uh, in other games, pump it up if we think we're having it too easy of a time. Ancient Era, game speed, standard. Let's get right into it. Boom. Loading, please wait. I will meet you in the game. All right, here we are. Now, really quickly, I want to point out why I really like the goals. Uh, one, you are able to get the Abaddon, which is a replacement for the industrial district. And you can get it really, really early on and get your cities to have very good production early on. And I really, really like that. Also, you get the Gazate, a unique land unit, instead of the normal land units you get at the very start of the game. Plus, you can build mines on top of hills and use the best culture bombs and expand your borders. Those are the three main things why I really, really like the Gauls. Now, let's get right into the game. Alright, now, as I said, I am nowhere near an expert in this game. Like, at all. I'm, <laughs> I'm not an expert, I am still learning, so if you see me do something stupid, uh, feel free to scream at me down below in the comments, and hopefully I'll learn from my mistakes. Now, if you don't know what Civilization is, this is also a great... Uh, way for you to see what it is. It is basically a turn-based strategy game. Now, even though you can see me up here, but when we start learning other civilizations, they will be up here. So obviously we're playing with the AI. Now, I know for a fact here, of course, we have a settler and I want to get as many good tiles around my settler as possible. Um, and as I said, with the Gauls, you can actually put mines down on plain hills and you can get uh, be able to expand your borders really, really well. Now, uh, this actually right here is going to be the best place uh, for our city because once we've settled it, we will have uh, all the tiles around it. And if we put it right here, we would have this, 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 this. Now, these small icons you see here indicate the amount of, well, those things we would get. And if they're inside our border, that is something we can focus on getting. And this elephant tile is really, really good. It has three production, one food, uh, two food and one gold. And that is really, really good. So I'm gonna move my settler over here, even though I'm not able to settle on the first turn. Uh, and we found a tribal village, which hopefully maybe can get us either a recon unit or some gold. Um, now an important thing to note that uh, when playing as the Gauls, you're not able to put speciality districts uh, one tile next to your city. So I wouldn't be able to put a campus here, for example. It would have to be over here. 
because it would be adjacent to it. I cannot put uh, specialty districts adjacent to uh, your main city. But now we can found the city. And yes, it is going to remove the, wood, the rainforest, but that is fine. Now I just want to make sure that, yes, it is working this tile right here. If I wanted it to work something else, I could choose it. Uh, I could say work on this, for example, instead. We gotta get this travel village, and we got uh, this piece right here boosted, which is excellent. That is something we will be needing. Uh, we will be choosing our first research, and as the goal, I immediately go for mining. Uh, because we're able to put mines on these like areas. Let me just see here. Yes, for example, we have some hills here We could expand to here and maybe even get this elephant tile right there. So definitely I'm gonna go for mining uh, Production I am gonna go with a scout so we can Look around our borders here a little bit better I'm not gonna walk too far away with my gazetes here because if barbarians are close they can come in and start attacking me and I don't want that. So I'm just going to use them to search the surrounding areas here. And see what we got. But for the first few rounds here. Ooh, we have coffee up here. That's some pretty good spots here, not gonna lie. Also something uh, with the goals. Uh, when you uh, have stone resources. If if the, um, the upper dome is close to a stone resource. Uh, you will get a adjacency bonus, which is something really cool that, of course, we would like to get if possible. All right, so we have our scout here. I'm just gonna start moving in this direction. The gazette is going to move in this general area, and we need to choose what to order next. I could go for more units, or I could start going for a builder. Or I could... Actually, I can't go for a settler yet, because I need to be at two population. Um... I'm kind of leaning towards getting another Gazette in case of Barbarian attacks. Because if I get a Builder, it's going to be way too soon. Uh, I guess I could also just get a Monument. You know what, let's get the Monument, why not? Alright, move in this direction. Alright, does it look like we have too much land over here? This is obviously the ocean, so the land is going to be in this uh, general area. Also, what seems nice is that we don't have things very close to us, like right up our borders, which is really nice as well. Alright, looks like... Uh, what do we got here? Need more housing. So that is a thing we need to worry about as well, of course. We need more housing. We have amenities and we're starting to struggle for housing a little bit, so we need to take care of that as well. Building farms will uh, help with that a lot. Oh, what we got? We got. Who deserves more credit? That is we best. We got that. that bit, shush. We got Felso here. Um, we just say city state. Now, if you don't know what city states are, really quickly, um, they're not civilizations. They only stay in that one city, but they do progress along with the game. We can trade with them on the other hand. Um, so that's really cool. We definitely want to try and befriend them. Uh, looks. Like, Doesn't look like we have any nearby. Um, Barbarian stuff, so that is good to know. Uh, now for the next thing to go for, I think we're getting the granary and the great bath is going to be good because it will be able to give us housing, amenities, and also the granary will be able to get us housing. So I think we should go for that for sure. Uh, now the civic, uh, I really like getting foreign trade because it gives us access to the trader. Um, but this one right here, production towards builders, uh, isn't that bad either. Yeah, I think we gotta get this, and maybe we will be able to boost this with our scout units here. Uh, I'm going to go with production of all cities, so we can keep uh, going a little bit further. And as I'm not fighting barbarians right now, I'm just going to go with double experience for recon units. Okay, we have found a barbarian outpost right here. So that means we probably want to go down and start working on that. I guess I should have gotten this case today, huh? Well, anyway, uh, I need you to start heading back towards here. And I'm going to back off a little bit. I'm just going to fortify there to keep an eye on it to see what it's, uh, <laughs> what it's going to be doing here. Hold on. That's a five production, isn't it? No, wait. Sorry. I, I saw wrong. It... it the gear looked bigger than it was. 
All right, I'm going to go with a builder because we will be able to start improving some of these tiles, which is going to be excellent for us. And we unlocked pottery. We now are going to go with... I think riding is going to be great to get, but here is Abaddon right here in ironworking, so we will be able to get that very, very soon. But I think I'm going to go with riding so we can start doing uh, more research. What we can do, actually, we can go into world rankings and we can see what we're... Uh, what our position is in compared to all the civilizations, even though we haven't met them yet. So in science, we're actually doing better than whoever all these guys are. Um, and yeah, we can just see where in the world we are standing with our empire. All right, we completed crafters, craftsmanship. I'm going to go for foreign trade so we can get the trader out. That will be very, very nice to uh, to get and we want to move you and we got the builder finally so i'm gonna immediately build a mine over here uh since we are starting to lack housing i think i'm going to go with the granary let me think here yeah i think i'm gonna get the granary and then i'm gonna get another settler uh to settle somewhere probably maybe not up here that's very close to fez but maybe down here somewhere all right, gonna build our first mine, and that is also going to expand our border right there. So that is awesome. Oh dear. Uh, we can take these guys on right now. Uh, I went for the granary, so building a farm is not really a prior priority right now. My builders only have three charges, so I want to use them for the best things. I want to improve this hill over here and then uh, probably want to get the elephants as soon as we can. Alright, so the barbarians chose to attack my scout unit. I'm going to do that. Now the spearman is actually just standing in here. Uh, they're not going to attack out, I don't think. They might. But they might also not. So I think my units should be safe here. Uh, I think I'm able to do this, but we will have to see. I'm actually going to move you over and fortify there, and we'll see how this turns out. Okay, yeah, they did not attack, and I think I might be able to take it with a promotion and then attack it once again. I think we will be able to do it. I think we're going to get animal husband just so we can improve the uh, elephant tile. Uh, next to our city and also future ones we might expand to in the future now I could take this right now but I'm actually going to give a promote first uh, plus seven combat strength with melee and ranged units yes that's what we're gonna do for this one we're going to choose a ooh, settler or a campus I really really want the campus down um, but I feel like a settler would be good. Yeah, we gotta go for another settler. And then after that, I'm actually going to just set it in queue here. After the settler, we're going to put the campus. And as you can see, putting it right here will give us plus three um, from adjacency bonuses. So I'm actually going to buy that. And we're gonna get the campus district right there. Uh... And that should be that. Of course, we want to build the mine, which is going to give us this. And again, after Animal Hospitry, we can improve these two elephant tiles. So I think next I'm going to improve the stone resource right here. This is a lot of talking. <laughs> Am I talking too much? I don't know. I like to explain what I'm doing. I guess thinking out loud. Also, we got that and we got some, I think, what was, was it, gold from it? Yeah, I think we got some gold from it. This is not a bad place to be either. A lot of food and uh, we have the bananas here. So placing a... Well, we have the desert. I don't know what's over here. Depending on what's over here, we might settle our next city here. Like over here. Uh, but I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so far this area is not bad. We have the tea, which would be in our area as well. We have the cattle over here. And the stone here, I think putting a city is not gonna be that bad of a thing to do right there. I don't have that many hills in the area, unfortunately. Uh, at least I don't think so. Wait, we actually have some plain hills. 
Okay, we actually do. So this play, yeah. The settler's gonna go over here for sure, I think. Gonna put down the mine. Like so. That is going to give us a boost for masonry, which is something we want to get as well. And we just got the foreign trade as well, which is amazing. I want to get this tribal city if I can. And I'm just gonna put my scout unit and just fortify there, I guess. Just to keep an eye, clear eye out for bad guys. Uh, what do I want to get next on this tree here? I want to start moving towards this so I can get one of these three. So I can get access to even more and better cards. So I think state workforce might really be the way to go. Also because we can get the government plaza. So yeah, I'm going to go for that. And we have met... Uh, whoever this is, what's that done talking? Come on, buddy. Uh, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. Uh, would you like to visit our nearby city? Yes, we might as well not make enemy enemies with enemy. Empire of Congo. No All right. So we met the scout right here. Oh, I wanted to get over there. Whoopsie, my bad. Alright, so we want to start working towards the up dumb, but we also want some of this stuff uh, later on. But I think we're gonna go for masonry or the wheel. The wheel would give us the watermill, which is not a bad thing to get in the city. Um, bronze working is also not bad either, plus we would get the iron resource. I'm gonna take it and maybe hope we can get another barbarian, but I doubt it. Your delegation is well, most welcome. Again, no reason to make enemies with them. As of this point in time, 40 extra gold, always welcome. And we just found Geneva here, another science city, another city-state here. Not bad at all. Plus two science, plus two science in our capital, that is not bad at all. We're currently producing 7.5 science per turn. And that's a... Um, What's the word? Reference? Not reference. Comparison. <laughs> the Congo Empire is getting 3.2 in uh, every turn. So that's not bad. Especially once we get our campus down, which we should get now, actually, after he turns, because now our new settler is done. And we're going to set course for here immediately. Let's gonna explore a little bit with the gazes here in these deserts where it can travel along. Uh, distance easily hoping to maybe be able to find a scout or a barbarian thing to but as kill. I headed into the oh, heart of New Zealand's fjordland the natural same child wonder. Line. natural wonder that's this place is amazing hmm if I could get a city down like here maybe I'm just gonna put that there because getting these places right here in our city borders, that would not be bad at all. Also, we have secured it normally, so we are safe to not get a um, a dark age once this era turn. Uh, a strong economy begins ends. with a strong. Uh, what do we got here? All right, settling our second city right here. Not bad at all. We are missing some amenities though, which is unfortunate. I can also now start moving you out to explore. Um, oh dear. Wait, what what tile are you focusing on? Yeah, that's yeah. No, I want to focus on this so we can get better production. Thank you. That's better. <laughs> um, how's it looking for like food and such? Yeah. I think we're gonna go with a granary for now, and then maybe build a builder over here and send it over. Oh, and horses popped up. Cool. Uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna get with early empire because we can open borders and such. So I guess actually hold on. Let me look at the tree here. Yeah, early empire because then we can start getting uh, towards political philosophy, and we can get our first governor, Norse. I think I've got to go with this guy, the educator, because we are able to get 15 increase in science. Uh, generated in the city uh, Even though Magnus is a pretty good one to get as well 
Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this guy. We're gonna put him in our capital. Right there. Cool. I'm going to set the scout to automate, automate exploration. Just so I don't have to do it myself all the time. Because that can get annoying. Gallic Empire makes history. Nice. We made history, folks. And that is because we have researched or finished the campus. And in that case, I want to finish the library. But I'm thinking of maybe getting a builder to start chopping some of these woods. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to get a builder to start improving the elephants here. And then after that, I want to get the library. I think that's the order I'm going to do it in. Maybe we're actually going to reach a golden age. That would, that would be cool. Also, bronze working is finished, which means we could technically skip right to iron working. But I really want masonry so we can get the ancient walls. Not that we're at war or anything right now, but it would be nice to have. Just in case, you know. And masonry is completed. And with that, I think we will take... Hmm. I think iron working. I'm gonna take the wheel, then iron working. So I can hold down shift and select multiple. And then I'm gonna go back and get some of these. This one specifically, this one, and this one. And I guess this one since we are near the ocean as well. Um, I'm going to improve these two elephant tiles as the main focus with this builder. Alright, that is going to give us two more gold, so this tile alone is giving us three gold. The question is just, what tiles are the city focuses are focusing on? It is focusing on these right here, which is what I wanted to do. So that's perfect. Just improved the elephant uh, resource over there. I don't know what to implement, uh, improve next, I guess maybe the wheat field over here to get some more housing and food for the city. Um, yeah, I think that would be good. So, all the horses, actually. Well, then, we have met a barbarian scout. Not great. Uh, because our scout is not able to take this one on. So, I think I'm gonna start retreating a bit. But if they come close to our city, we will need to, uh, well, wipe this guy out. But also... Maybe find out where they... It is luxuries like is. air conditioning that brought down the Roman... Hmm. And we can now get this as well. Pretty cool. And I'm gonna get... We could get the pyramids. Okay, this is what I think I'm going to do. I am going to... Select the pyramids. I'm gonna get a builder from this town over here over chop these trees to get more production and place down mines instead but if you because if you look these are actually hills so that would uh allow me to expand my borders as well so i think actually because grants a free builder all builders can build one extra improvement so i think that wouldn't be too bad to get if we can we might as well take the opportunity now that we can um Beat, huh? I need to move up with our Gazate here. And for this, I'm actually going to put Magnus in this. Uh, right here, because he will... Plus 50% yields from plot harvest and feature removals in the city. That's gonna be useful. This scout is following my scout, apparently, which is a bit annoying. Uh, we're gonna get the builder over here. So we can send it over to this city. Uh, actually, hold on. I'm actually able, I just remembered, to buy it with gold. But honestly, I would rather save my gold for an emergency. So, yeah. I think I'm gonna do that. Alright, we're gonna mil- uh, mil- We're gonna put this right there. For horseback riding, that's going to give us more production as well if we work the tile, of course. Uh, which I don't think we are. Because we don't have enough citizens to be working in tiles yet. But it's there. And it's good. Okay, it just went away. Maybe it's gonna go over to Congo and do some stuff. I'm gonna keep researching in this area. That sound, by the way, was a wonder completed. And on my player has finished building the World Wonder Great Bath. 
So that was just a notification that someone had done that. And the scout is back. This time it's the case that that is facing it, so that is good. I'm going to move this builder right over here. We can delete this mark now. And I think I'm going to get a trader. Because we have one trader slot and it would pretty much be dumb of us not to use it on Fez or Geneva. Or even one of our own cities, actually, to make a road between them. I think I'm going to do that first. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. Oh. Hmm. That's interesting. We are entering the classical era. So we made into a normal age. We didn't get a golden age, but we didn't get a black age, a dark the age. Lord so that's good. All out of and we completed eye working as well. So that is beautiful. Unfortunately, we don't have any iron in our city. In fact, there's no iron anywhere here. Yeah. There's iron here. But that would probably be settling a little bit too close to the Congo Empire. So we could put a city here and get access to the coffee and stuff as well. That might be something... Oh dear. Okay, so Congo has a little bit of a conflict over here with some barbarians. What am I gonna pick here? At this stage of the game, I usually pick this. Gain one arrow score each time you construct a new speciality district because I usually get to do that at this time of game. So I'm gonna pick that. Our recon unit here is heavily under attack, so we're gonna just back out of that and start exploring in another direction. I want to put this case of taste somewhere where I would put the city. Either here or here. Or even actually here would be even better. Yeah, I think right here would be a good place to settle. And then just buy our way to the deer slot and then get the production from that. I think that would be good. Now we have quite a few options here. Uh, what we can do. We could make a holy site, we could make an encampment, government plaza, or Arbidum. I'm going to go with the Arbidum. And I'm going to choose to place it right next to right here, I think. Right? Yeah. I think right here. I think that's gonna be good. So we can get that up and running. And I'm going to choose my own city so we can get a road, so we can travel with units in between them quicker. And the next time we'll pick one of the city states. Okay, so Congo has just given me an offer and they want 14 horses now, and then for 30 turns, one elephant. I would rather have a lot more gold. He does not have more gold, it seems. You know what, for one elephant per turn, sure. That's five more gold per turn I could use on something, or just save up. Thousands so I'll agree have lived to that. Without. I will agree to that. I'm gonna run away from that. Alright, I'm going to remove feature, wood yield 61 production. That now take a look at this. 20 turns till the pyramids are done. Now it's 14, and we can place a mine here. Perfect. I want those pyramids. So now I can place a mine, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and chop this one as well. Just to easier secure the pyramids that it will be ours and not someone else's. And one time. Abaddon was no accident. Or whatever I said. Okay. Remove this right here. And that gives us 8 turns, and I can then make a mine out of this as well. Or I could build here. Hmm. Don't know yet. We'll figure it out. Uh. Hmm. We could get the stone hinge. Or we could get the workshop. Or we could get another builder. I think I'm actually gonna go with another builder for now. Mainly to send over here to improve this city. The... Sailing, and... This is going to give us gold, but right now, I want a mine. Gold production, that's not bad at all. Let's make sure it, yep, it definitely works that. Wonderful. I can now unlock that so it chooses on its own, <laughs> and let's go. And our builder is now complete. We're gonna... Huh, I guess I could 
use it here before I put it over there. Hmm. I guess I might as well. And we need to choose our next research, which could be currency. I could also get horseback riding or celestial navigation. I think I'm gonna pick currency so we can get some more gold in the gold uh, storage. <laughs> And over here, I think I'm going to go with Ancient Walls, just to get some defense up and running. And with that, I think I'm going to call it an episode here. Before we end, though, I am going to add a marker here. Right there to indicate that I want a city there. And yeah, I think that is going to do it for this episode. Yeah, I think we did some pretty good progress. Let me know what you think of this series down below in the comments. If you want to see more, be sure to leave it a like. It helps me more than you know. And yeah, that's going to be it for this one. I really, really hope you have enjoyed. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. And also, by the way, if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to do so if you enjoy what you see here. Helps me out a ton. And also remember to enable those notifications to never miss another upload. Anyways, I'm out. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.